Good evening, sports fans. Welcome to Sports Moment on this late Friday night. January 1st, 2016. I'm Peter Wiggins here. Happy New Year, you all. Hope you had a good, good, happy New Year's Day. And hope 2016 will be good to you. Okay. First off on Sports Moment on this New Year's Day 2016 was at Gillette Stadium where the Boston Bruins squared off and that's it. Arch Rivals, Montreal Canadiens at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. And whoever was perfect, fans from all around New England, around the region, came out to catch outdoor hockey at his finest. The one thing that was not finest, Boston Bruins gameplay today as the Montreal Canadiens got out to the board of the first period. 114 in the first period out of David Deschanel's goal with assist with Dale Weesey and Alexei Miller was one up in favor of the Canadiens here. And then two minutes to the second period, Paul Byron gets the goal with assist for Brad Flynn and Buck Barbario makes it two up in favor of the Canadiens. And then 17-20 in the second period, Brandon Gallagher gets a goal with assist for Max Pacioretty and Thomas Pagan was three up in favor of the Montreal Canadiens here. But then... The Bruins brief some life as Matt Pulaski gets a goal, eight goal season with assists with Adam McQuaid, six assists, and Brad Spooner, 17 of assists, makes a 3 1 Bruins down. But there was life for the Bruins, but the Canadians responded with a match. Patrick goal, 8 49, and make it 4 1 in favor of the Canadians, assists from Brendan Galker, Thomas Buchanan, and then 18 28, Paul Byron gets a goal, assists from Paige K. Subban, and David Bill as a Boston Bruins. Ran into a mock draw. Canadian buzz saw the word classic and say, Fall 5 to 1. As now they fall to 2013 and 4 to season. As the Boston Bruins and Claude Julie need to assemble what happened. As the Boston Bruins were ran out and ran into a better team in the Montreal Canadiens. As next up in the Boston Bruins, they will be. Back at the garden for a day against the Washington Generals on the 5th of January, which is on a Tuesday. Okay, whatever AHL score, and I'm Dex Vancouver Connect will get underway out in Vancouver right now, which is 7 o'clock their time. Alright, let's look at some NBA scores on this New Year's Day of 2016. Washington Wizards over on Orlando Magic, 103 to die one. Bobby Heat over on Dallas Mavericks, 160-82. Toronto Raptors over on Shot Onyx, 104 to 94. Chicago Bulls over on New York Knicks, 95 to 69 with 602 left in the fourth quarter. And Los Angeles Lakers at the seven seconds to get out of the way at about 10:30 p.m., which is 7:30 p.m. Their time out in Los Angeles. Okay, look at some college football ball scores here. On this New Year's Day, all this, all over Oklahoma State, 27-3 at the Sugar Bowl down in New Orleans. In the Rose Bowl, it was Stanford defeated Iowa Hawkeyes, 45-16. Ohio State over Notre Dame, 44-28 in the Fiesta Bowl. Tennessee, blown out the Northwestern Wildcats, 45-6 in the Outback Bowl. And in the Citrus Bowl, it was Michigan, Thumpin' Florida, 41-7. Alright, look at College basketball scores here. At that time, it's UTP leading Rex, 37 to 29. At that time, it's USA leading Washington State, 54 to 37. At that halftime, Utah leading Stephen, 30 to 21. South Dakota State defeated Denver, 68 to 59. Oba, 82. Western Illinois, 80. IUPUI 77, South Dakota 66, and North Texas 70, Texas San Antonio 66. Okay, look at that, some spots news on this. Ready at, on this New Year's Day of 2016, as Stanford running back Christian McCaffrey already hit the any suitable single season all purpose year to its record holder, broke the Rose Bowl mark in that category during Stanford's 25 16 run of Iowa and Friday with 368 yards of the breaking the all purpose mark. Arlington, the New York State Attorney General wants the two largest daily fantasy sports companies, FanDuel DraftKings, to give out the hundreds of millions that they have made a safe and pay a stiff penalty for one of the arguments are illegal gambling. Chicago, two days after a clean effort, early was shot in the right knee and joined a robbery. The Knicks were set to the bull on Friday as they sought some sense of normalcy. 
Matt Barnes then suspension in 2015 with an emotional message. Even with a flip to the calendar in 2016 on Friday, Derek Rose found himself in an all familiar role, dressed in street clothes as he misses the second consecutive game against the Knicks with a shortness in his hamstring. Houston Texans outside linebacker J.D. David Collier with, with Sunday's game against the Jacksonville Jaguars with a foot injury. In New York, Triple Crown winner American Ferris set a single season earnings record at nearly $8.3 million for the memorable year 2015, in which he ended his career with a victory in the Breeders' Cup Classic. Brian Kelly opened this game would have been different, different from the last time. Notre Dame was on a big postseason stage, but seven minutes to the Fiesta Bowl. It looked like the Irish had seven and number first round knockout with a 44 8 loss to R.S. State in Fiesta Bowl. Stan Erickson, the Norwegian skier who will exemplify style and grace of the slope stand Sunday in his open park city, Utah. He was 88 years old. The Miami Open is all but certainly keep his game because of court decision of lawyer for the tennis tournament set on Wednesday. Dave Anderson would have been bigger than Dave Roberts, bigger than Malcolm Up. There is no way you can understand it if you lived it. Tottenham's 2015 began with the sensational 5 3 win over the Chelsea and its a few setbacks that has largely been a year of great progress. Philadelphia, Chip Kelly was unique in so many ways. From his up tempo on offense and his practice in Richmond to his daily requirements, all that turned out to be Kelly's undoing as the Eagles collapse under a litany of the mistakes by both Kelly and the coach. The last time Kobe Bryant missed a game this season, it was due to show right shoulder, and it wasn't gonna completely heal. In New York, Ken Craig's won a $122,500 loss of the following stakes by the three year olds at the Aqueduct Friday. To his first victory as a coach trainer by John Turner over beat 8 5 favorite Ben Jensen Tour by the late third step 5 race losing streak. It just one game, but Bill Nova's presumed decline in the Big East appears to be well off base after Justin Benelin won their expected. Chief competitors the league opener the defended conference champion Wildcats face one of the big eights. On Thursday, the Los Angeles Dodgers and Germany right under Kent uh, Maeda agreed to a contract as a terms of deal are still known, but reports indicate the catcher could cover at least five years. And that is going to be it for the Sports Remnants. Friday, during 1st, 2016, Pure Good night with a good Friday, and I'll see you tomorrow night for Sunny Sports Roundup.